And we want to take a snapshot of the real estate market here in Western Washington. So we say hello to John Bai, local realtor with the latest numbers. Welcome back. Great to have you here. Good to see you guys. Okay, so let's start with a fun little thing I like to call absorption. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? What does it mean? And what do the numbers tell you? Yes. So this has been a long topic uh, standing for a long time. And we've seen it over 100%, I swear, for the number, months and months. And now we're down into some more normal numbers. This is the amount of homes that are available for sale and the amount of homes that are actually selling. So we see down in King County now, we're at 53%, Snohomish 61, 68 in Pierce counties. What that's really meaning is that it's, there's not, there is homes to buy. Yeah. That's been the biggest challenge before with seeing numbers that are over 100%. Mm -hmm. There just isn't anything no for inventory, sale. Right? There's nothing available. Yeah, and exactly. now there is, and we're actually starting to see things soften up a little bit. Yeah. Would you say it's a seller's market or still a buyer's for sure. market? So to be a buyer's market, technically you need to have about six months worth of inventory. And right now we run in about two in, all, in the three major counties. So we still got a ways to go, mm -hmm. but it's different. So I think that in the world that we live in, you see something that's new, you might automatically assume that it's now completely shifted, which it hasn't. So in King County, your <clears throat> data shows you that it's seven, up 74%. That's, that's really high compared to the other counties, right? For sure, it's higher, but you really wanna look at it in perspective. So we've been running with inventory levels or absorption rates, weeks of inventory, at like three weeks in King County. And now we have about eight weeks. Which means you got to get in <laughs> in three weeks where somebody else is going to buy gone, it. It's gone, right? It's already okay. gone. So, And what about prices? Okay, it all comes down to how, yes. what you can afford, wherever you're going to live. What mm -hmm. have you seen as you've looked at numbers for the average price of a house selling? Yeah, so you're going to see prices now dropping or leveling off because we don't know the data until it's already presented. So now people can t see, hey, we, were, we could have been at the top, right? And now we need to get back to where it's just on average leveling off. So you will see some reductions in pricing, but I also think you're gonna see it hold. I don't think it's gonna get out of control. So I wouldn't be concerned about it going way down or waiting, like probably not a bad, <laughs> probably not what you'd wanna do. Mm -hmm. right? And in terms of uh, people who are buying, you know, mm -hmm. it was really tough and a lot of competition. Yeah. I mean, if you, even way above asking price, yep. contingencies, waves, all mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. What are you seeing now in terms of your buyers? Yeah, so for us now, we're actually doing something that's been very different, which is we're getting a lot of contingent offers accepted. If you're looking to move up and you can leverage your kind of newer house, it's at a lo lower price point and buy up into that higher price point, maybe where there's not as many people shopping now, sellers are open to those opportunities because they know that might be the way that they're gonna get that top dollar value. So we're just being creative in those spaces. And for those of us who have bought houses or you work in the industry, you know mm -hmm. it, it's contingency. What, what is that? If someone, I'm buying for the first time, I've yeah. been in an apartment, what, what is a contingency? So the contingency is when you have to sell your current home to buy your next home. So before there were so many people looking to buy all the time that sellers didn't want to take on that extra risk. But now, be like, okay, would I rather take maybe a higher price and have a contingent offer versus maybe something lower or with some different, um, clauses in there that maybe wouldn't make it as exciting. Yeah, I mean, that purchase won't go through unless I sell my house Correct. first. Yeah. Yes, All right. correct. Well, some good news for sellers, it sounds like, finally. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, buyers. It's good for everybody. Yeah, right. okay. Yeah. John, thank you very much. We'll be sure. checking with you next Thanks, month.